The recorder has five record modes. Normal, Motion, PIR, Intelligent and Manual. When you first get the machine from the factory, it's set to record normal, which means constant recording 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. So this is the record scheduler in the menu. As you can see, we're looking at channel 7. Normal is selected and we've got these green blocks that go across the days from Sunday to Saturday and from 0 to 24 hours. So, to save hard drive space, some customers like to set their recorder to record only motion activity. So, the first thing we need to do is change the scheduler from constant record to motion activity. So, on the right hand side, you've got three buttons, motion, normal and PIR. So, we've got it on normal at the moment. So, to get rid of that, we leave that normal selected and we click and drag with a mouse, left click, drag a mouse over the entire box area and let go. And that then clears the normal recording. We then select motion recording and do the same. Click and drag a box, let go, and you've got your scheduler set for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, recording motion. And then apply. Just before we leave this screen, let me just mention that, that the change we've just made only applies to the camera we've, just, we've got selected, camera seven. If I go to another camera, you'll see we're still on normal constant record so at channel 7 if you do want to put all the cameras to the, to do motion record in one go without going through each one and doing that click and drag thing you can do that by just being on one that you set and then go to the bottom corner here copy so you copy in channel 7 all the days of the week all the cameras I'm going to copy that and that then sets all the other cameras to the same Okay, so that's the scheduler done. Now we need to go to the motion screen and we see we've got uh, the channel numbers here, cameras here. And if you click on the cog, that takes you to the setting for that particular screen. So let's go on that one. As you can see, I've got some motion areas set up here. I've got one in the middle of the road and one just entrance to the driveway here. So to enable motion, you have red blocks and to disable motion, you have clear. So let's say I want to monitor this area here. I can just put some blocks there. Any motion in that area at all will, will trigger a motion recording. And you right click to come out of that screen. And then we can go to alarm and motion. And we've got another screen here. So we've got channel seven. Uh, this will enable the bleeper and how long it bleeps for if it detects motion. This enables record on, and you can set which channel number it records onto. I recommend you just leave it on the same channel number as the camera. So channel 7 records on 7, unless you've got any particular reason to enable other channel numbers to start recording. Say if you've got a camera very close to it, and you want to start recording as soon as it detects motion on the camera next to it, then you could, you could do that here. Post recording is how long it records after the motion activity has gone gone away or stopped. So if someone goes in, indoors or stands very still, that will stop the motion and it will continue to record for 30 seconds, up to five minutes. Show message. This will show a message on the screen that there's motion activity. Send email. If you've got your email set up on the system, it will send you an email saying motion has been detected. Full screen will automatically switch, switch the split screen view you normally see when you're looking at your cameras over to full screen. So as soon as motion detected, that camera comes up full screen. And then FTP upload, if you've got an FTP file server that uh, snapshots are being saved to, it will automatically save a snapshot to the server. Okay, that completes motion. So now we'll look at the PIR function. This is a mode, uh, it's an intelligent mode that works with AHD cameras only. So the first thing we need to do is change the scheduler to PIR. So we'll select PIR, click and drag the box, and then we'll click motion and click and drag again to get rid of motion. So we are now recording PIR only. Okay, now we go to channel and PIR. And we'll see the uh, AHD camera on channel 7 is here available. So we click on the setup screen. PIR recording will allow you to select an area very specifically. Very similar to motion detection, but slightly different. Let me, let me show you. So let's say you want to uh, monitor an area over the road here. 
on this driveway. So using the mouse, you just click the first point, move to the second point, third point, fourth point, fifth, and then sixth. Now don't worry if you haven't got it right first time. Once you've got it set roughly right, you can click on this red red box here and allow you to bring up each point and you can really drill it down to the perfect area. Once you're done, right click and apply. And then you'll see your settings are there. And then again, if you go into the alarm PIR section, you've got the same settings as per motion, how long the bleeper bleeps for when it gets uh, an activation, uh, where it records, how long it records after the activation, whether it shows the message on the screen, sends an email, or brings it up full screen. The next record mode I'm going to talk about is Intelligent. That is found under Channel and Intelligent. It has its own scheduler, so uh, you can enable that the same way. Click and drag the box to fill in the schedule blocks. So again, that's doing Intelligent functions seven days a week. There are six Intelligent record modes. Perimeter Intrusion line crossing, stationary object, pedestrian detection, face detection, cross counting. So let's go to perimeter intrusion. Let's enable it. And then we've got the various modes available to us now. So we can have it bleep at us for a certain amount of time. We can set the sensitivity and we can set the scene to indoor or outdoor. Now the area setup is where you set up your different rules. As you can see, we've got four rules per camera. Let's enable rule one, and let's set a line across the, the road. Now, we've got rule type of A to B, so what I'm saying is anything going from the outside the box to inside the box will be logged. Anything coming from inside the box to outside the box will not be logged. You can reverse that and you can also make it do two way. As with the um, PIR function, you can click on the, the red box and tweak to your heart's content. Once that's done, hit save. Click OK to restart and the unit will restart. Once the unit is restarted, you'll, sh you'll have your rule showing on screen here and it will only trigger when something triggers through it. OK, if we go back to the menu and intelligent, we'll see we've got the, uh, the same settings we had here for the motion and the PIR settings where it will show the message, which is the green S. Send an email bring the uh, camera up full screen, and then you can set which camera, which channel number it records on. Okay, finally we're on to manual mode. Now this is a, a manual uh, record button that you can hit whenever you're watching your cameras or um, you, know, you see something going on, you can hit the record button and it will start recording on all cameras. Uh, that's the red button on the front of the recorder. Alternatively, you can right click with the mouse and go to manual mode here on the bottom right hand corner. Click on it and that brings up the manual record screen and here you can enable record mode on one or, or many of your cameras. And the final method to record manually is if you are looking at say a split screen view or even a single screen view. As you click on each window you'll see there's icons along the bottom of each window. The left hand one is the manual record button. Hit that and it will start recording on there. And you'll see you've got the red icon. So it's recording on there and there, not on these two. To disable it, just click it again. Or go to manual mode and disable it here. That completes the recording section of this video.